here we're looking at quadratic graphs. So a quadratic is something where the highest power is an x squared. So if the highest power is an x squared, then we've got a quadratic. And quadratic graphs make these parabola shapes. So we've got a U shape for a positive x squared. So the x squared term is positive. And when the x squared term is negative, it flips over and makes more of an N shape. So the first question says, here is the graph of 4x plus 3 minus x squared. So we've got a negative x squared shape. And we want to know the coordinates of the turning point. So the turning point of a graph is either where it stops going up and starts going down or when it stops going down and starts going up. So where it turns. So the turning point of this graph is at 2, 7. Approximate the roots to the equation 4x plus 3 minus x squared equals zero. To find the roots from an equation on a graph, we look at where it crosses the y-axis. So where y is equal to zero. So y has been switched for a zero. So y is equal to zero when it crosses the x-axis. So these two points are the roots and they are at 4.6 and so there's two solutions. It's a quadratic. We usually get two solutions and negative 0 0.6. Okay, one for you to try. So pause the video and give it a go. So this time we've got the graph of y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. The coordinates of the turning point are at negative 1, negative 4. And the roots, so we're looking where it crosses the x-axis. So you see y has just been switched for a 0. So where y equals 0 is where it crosses the x-axis. So we've got negative 3 and 1. So in this example, we could have also worked that out by factorizing. So we could have put it into brackets. What multiplies to make a negative 3 and adds to make a positive 2? So it's plus 3 and minus 1. So what makes the first bracket 0? That would be negative 3. And what makes the second bracket 0? That's 1, positive 1. So we could have solved it by factorizing, but we can also solve it by looking at the graph. Here we're being asked to draw a quadratic graph. So the first step, we're going to complete the table of values. And then we're going to use the coordinates that we work out to draw the graph. So you may have a calculator for this question. If you do have a calculator, you should use brackets to substitute the numbers in. So you should use brackets around the numbers. So wherever you see an X, replace it with brackets. So brackets squared plus brackets minus five. And then you can you put the X values into the brackets. So If you set it up like this and just switch the X numbers in the brackets. The reason we use brackets is because if you put a negative number in and the calculator and it's not in brackets, the calculator will not get the correct answer. So you need to put it in brackets so it knows you're doing negative two squared, not take away 2 squared. When x is 3, we've got 7. 
and we can change the 3 to a 2. And so when x is 2, we've got 1. When x is 1, we've got negative 3. When x is 0, will be negative 5. And you could probably see a pattern starting to emerge. So it's gone down 6, down 4, down 2. The next one will go down 0. And then up 2. And then up 4. But you can check these on the calculator. So for negative 1, we've got negative 5. For negative 3, we've got 1. And let me just show you why you're using brackets on the calculator. So if you just typed in negative 3 squared plus negative 3 minus 5, the calculator would get negative 17. So it has completely got the squaring of negative 3 wrong. Because it thinks you mean take away 3 squared. So use brackets when you're substituting into the calculator. And we can plot these coordinates now. So each one of these is a set of coordinates. We've got negative 3, 1. Negative 3, 1. Negative 2, negative 3. Negative 1, negative 5. 0, negative 5. 1, negative 3, 2, 1, and 3, 7. And we're going to join these up with a curve. It's going to be a nice U shape like the ones we had drawn for us. And you should get a nice symmetrical pattern as well. So it looks something like that. Okay, one for you to try. So pause the video and give this a go. So if you're going to work these out in a calculator, remember to use brackets. So replace the X's with brackets. And then just substitute your x numbers in to the brackets. So x squared minus 2x minus 2. So if we start with negative 2. That's 6. Negative 1. one zero will be negative two because zero squared minus two zeros is zero minus two is negative two and the pattern minus five minus three minus five minus three then it'll be minus one then plus one plus three plus five but we can check on the calculator So down 1, so down 5, down 3, down 1, up 1, up 3, up 5. So just, just check. When x is 4, we should get 6, and we do. So we've got a nice symmetrical pattern for our quadratics, because the graphs make a nice symmetrical shape. So we get a symmetrical pattern. And we're going to plot these points on. So negative 2, 6. Negative 1, 1. 0, negative 2. 1, negative 3. 2, negative 2. 
three one four six and again let's join them up with a nice smooth curve if we can And there is our graph. Okay. One more question to finish up. So we've got to complete the table of values, draw the graph, and then write down the coordinates of the turning point as well. So we've got y equals 6 minus x squared. So 6 minus 3 squared is negative 3. 6 minus 2 squared, 6 minus 4 is 2. 6 minus 1 squared is 5. 6 minus nothing squared is 6. And then we're going to get the same pattern repeating because a negative times a negative is a positive. So 6 minus negative 1 squared is 6 minus 1. And we're going to get a symmetrical pattern again. So if we plot these points on, negative 3, negative 3, negative 2, 2, 1, 5, 0, 6, and then 1, 5, 2, 2, and 3, negative 3. So let's join them up with a smooth curve. And it should look something like that. And the coordinates of the turning point, so where does it turn? Where does it stop going up and start going down? That is at 0, 06.